Good afternoon. Great to have you with us. Welcome to our viewers on TV and on our digital streaming network, CBS News Chicago. I'm Joe Donlan. And I'm Dana Kozlov. New at four, new alarming information in the Texas school massacre. Law enforcement officials now say there were a series of mistakes during the response to the shooting. It took 90 minutes to end Tuesday's shooting rampage that killed 19 children and two teachers. CBS 2's Jason Allen is in Uvalde, Texas, with the latest on the investigation. This was difficult for some people to hear today, and we saw some community members really crying as they listened to the explanation that school police here had stopped treating this as an active shooter situation once the suspect was locked inside the classroom with students and teachers. For the benefit of hindsight, where I'm sitting now, then of course it was not the right decision. It was a wrong decision, period. No the head of Texas Department of Public Safety worked Friday to explain what caused the delay, stopping the gunman inside Robb Elementary School. The on-scene commander at the time believed that it had transitioned from an active shooter to a barricaded subject. Director Stephen McCraw said the on-scene commander wrongly thought there were no more children at risk, even as trapped students and a teacher repeatedly called 911 begging for help. Law enforcement also revealed today that this school resource officer was not on the campus at the time of the shooting. They said he raced to the scene, but toward a man he saw at the back of the school who turned out to be a teacher. In doing so, he drove right by the suspect who was hunkered down behind a vehicle where he began shooting at the school. Authorities say the shooter gained access to the school through a door a teacher had propped open. My husband and I don't have any children at all. So that's why it hits me right here. The community continues to flock to a memorial outside the school, leaving flowers and remembering all of the lives lost. There were some more red flags also that we learned about today that the shooter had tried to get his sister to help him buy a gun last year. And then in late February and early March, there were some discussions on social media where people asked him if he was buying a gun and someone even asked him if he was going to shoot at a school. In Uvalde, Texas, Jason Allen, CBS2 News. An investigation is underway to determine if any of the victims died while officers were waiting in the hallway.